friends, welcome to another round of sports views. Tonight, I am previewing and predicting the 2021 Canadian Championship Final. CF Montreal versus Toronto FC to be played on Sunday, September 21st, 12 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Eastern at Stade Saputo in Montreal, Quebec. Going to be a big match. Winner goes to the CONCACAF Champions League, of course. And wins the Voyagers Cup, of course. Toronto and Montreal have gotten to this match in two separate ways. In two separate moods. One really cares. One did what they had to do. But if they really cared, they would have beat Halifax by a lot more. And probably beat Montreal 2-0 or 1-0. 2-1. But they really didn't. You know who I'm talking about. But with that being said, we're going to talk about the news coming into this match, how the teams are coming into this match, the 11s for both sides, I have them predicted, and my prediction for this match, which is actually not so biased because I'm going to explain it. If I just said who was going to win, it'd be like, yeah, of course you would. But I think if I explain it, you'll be like, okay, it makes sense. It can make sense. But with that, so, both teams, news going into this match. Montreal will not have players missing, any big players missing. Romel Kyoto is on his way back. He subbed in during the Orlando game. No problem there. They'll have probably all of their main players playing, I would say. Toronto FC, of course, couldn't get out of the international break with anything lucky. Two injuries. Kamar Lawrence gets a concussion versus the U.S. in Jamaica during U.S. versus Jamaica. He gets a concussion taken off at halftime. Eric Zavaleta also gets taken off for injury in the El Salvador game, El Salvador-Panama game. Of course, he gets taken off. Of course, he gets hurt too, but honestly, I don't think they'll miss him. Bono's back in training, but I don't think he's starting, but we'll get into that. I think who started the DC game for Toronto will probably be starting with like one or two changes in this game. And Montreal will go with their best lineup, of course. But the teams going into this game, I would say Montreal is very disappointed in themselves. They are down on themselves. They are disappointed. Their form hasn't been great over the past month. Ever since the last 401 Derby, their form hasn't been great. They blew a playoff spot, honestly. They couldn't get there. Lost to Orlando. Seba Mendez with that big volley goal. Got Montreal knocked out or officially eliminated. They could have even still made it if they won against Orlando. But their form wasn't really good enough. And the teams that they beat, I think Toronto are better than. I think we're better than Houston. I think Toronto is a better team at this point right now on the current form they are than Houston. I'm not worried about that. And Toronto's form, ever since Perez got the job, and especially in the last two months, late September to now, has been pretty good. It's been pretty good for this season. It has. And that also goes into my prediction, of course, but... The form for Toronto over the past two months, late September, all of October, and I know decision day was in November, but honestly, that was just a bad performance. I don't think that's the norm right now. Better performances against Nashville, beat Nashville, beat Chicago, drew Colorado. They could pull out a performance on their day. They drew Atlanta and Atlanta. They could pull out a performance on their day, Toronto, especially right now over the past two months. And this, I think, would be their day. But we'll get into that when I make the prediction. But Toronto FC are focused on this. They want this more than anything. They need this. It would be great to send off Perez with a trophy and show Bradley a trophy at the door because we all know it's going to be Bob Bradley. He left LAFC. It's been obvious for weeks. He's coming to Toronto. Hell, Chicago's hiring Ezra Hendrickson. It's Bob Bradley to Toronto. I think we all know this at this point, right? Anything else would be a shock. It's Bob Bradley. 
but we'll see how that goes. But with that being said, Toronto is on a high. I think their morale is higher. I think their form is better over the past two months. Montreal has started to fall off at a really bad time. And also the Canadian Championship matches. Toronto has come in pretty well. They beat up York. They beat up Pacific except for a 10-minute stretch right at the end there. Toronto FC did their job against Pacific. Pretty much dominant as they should be, except for the last 10 minutes. Kind of like how Canada-Mexico went, you know. Late goal, got very nervy, but hey, they figured it out. They dominated Pacific mostly, though, a couple of weeks ago, November 3rd. So, about, like, 15 days ago. Yeah, doing the math in my head. Montreal, on the other hand, had to wait till very late to beat Pacific FC, not Pacific, Halifax Wanderers. Beat Halifax Wanderers. They did win 3-1, to one, but it was the two late goals that did it. It wasn't the best, I should say. Wasn't the best at all. It was very late. And honestly, they were very spawny, but they got them. Overall, they did not outplay Halifax. And then the Forge game, Forge was better. If Forge would have scored in regular time, they would have won. But no, goes to penalties. And even though Forge practices penalties, Tristan Henry pulls a David De Gea and loses it for Forge. Brezza scores on him. Henry didn't score his penalty. But Forge honestly outplayed Montreal. So, Toronto's definitely got to this final as the stronger team in this competition. And with better form over the past two months. So, with that being said, I will predict the 11s. I will predict the match. And then we'll get out of this. It's about a 12-minute video. But for me, well, also the subs that will probably be used. And, of course, three Canadians in every 11. For CF Montreal and goal Sebastian Bressa... He's overtaken goal in the Canadian Championship and MLS, especially after James Panamis gave up that free kick on Josie Altador. It's been Sebastian Bressa. Williford Nancy trusts him more, and honestly, I don't blame him. They're both okay. They're both good goalkeepers, but Bressa didn't make a mistake, so you're going to go with him in the cup final. Back four, Joel Waterman, Canadian. Rudy Camacho and Kamal Miller, back three. Two Canadians in that back line, Joel Waterman and Kamal Miller. Standard fare for your back line for the Montreal, CF Montreal. I almost said Montreal Impact, but their fans would have probably been totally fine with that. Because if you've seen the news and the reports out of Montreal, they're mad at Joey Saputo. They're mad. And the fans, the Ultras ain't coming back. They don't want to. They ain't going to be at this match, and next year, we don't think they'll be there either because they wanted the rebrand to be rebacked or pulled back. Not rebacked. Rolled back, whatever. Rolled back. That was a bad choice of words. Midfield, Zachary Brogiard, Canadian. Victor Wanyama, Samuel Piet, Canadian. Matthew Schwanier, Canadian. That's already five Canadians. Yeah, five Canadians. Sebastian Bressam. I think he's Italian, yeah? Wouldn't shock me if he was Canadian, but he's either one. I think Brezzo was on loan from Bologna, so... Italian. But that's your midfield four. Again, same standard fare. Attacking to Matko Miljevic and Jordi Mihalovic and striker Romel Kyoto. He's back, he's ready, and they're going to play him in a cup final because, of course... He'll score off the angle. And then your five subs they'll use. Sanusi Ibrahim, Ahmed Hamdi, Emmanuel Maciel, Mustafa Kisa, and Bjorn Janssen. Of course, you're probably going to see them. They'll definitely use their five substitutions. Now, Toronto FC's 11 in goal. Quentin Westberg, you better start him in a cup final, especially one that could easily go to penalties. Don't start Bono, please. That's just throwing it away. I think Perez would stick with Westberg, though. As he has late on in the season, I think he knows. So, we'll see how that goes. Back four, Richie Larea, Chris Mavinga, Julian Dunn. Going with Julian Dunn because Kamar Lawrence is hurt. I do not want to see 
Omar Gonzalez play, and Eric Zavaleta's hurt. I think Julian Dunn's the best out of the four. At this point, if you want to win a trophy, I'd rather go with Julian Dunn than somebody I know is going to ship a goal, especially after 90, a penalty shootout. If that's at best luck and we have a problem with drawing matches, I'd rather play Julian Dunn. He was pretty damn good against Atlanta, and Montreal's not as good as Atlanta. Play Julian Dunn, please. By the way, that's two Canadians. Justin Morrow plays at right back because, again, no Kamar Lawrence. I was about to say Jaquiel Marshall-Ruddy should start there, but it's a cup final. Try that next year in preseason. But Justin Morrow, he wasn't so bad against DC. I think he could do it. I think he wants one more big game. He already had his send-off, but I think he wants the final. I think he would play in the final and give it his all. It's his last game ever. Give it to him, honestly. Midfield three, Michael Bradley, Noble Akello, and Jonathan Azorio. That's four Canadians, of course. I think Noble Akello should be playing. Mark Delgado wasn't even in the team for the game against... DC, Omar was taken out before the DC game. That's why it was Kamar and L uh, Mavinga. So Omar's hurt. At least he was. I don't know if he will be, but honestly, don't want him starting. Okello being in the midfield, I'd like to see it. I think that actually helps Toronto. And I know he got a red card the last time he faced Montreal in Montreal, but I don't think that would happen again. Besides, Canadian Championship doesn't have VAR. They got him on VAR, by the way, I think. Pretty much. And that was a BS red card anyway. I don't think he'll do it again. I like Noble Akello. He's basically the Jude Bellingham of TFC. He could attack. He could defend. Passing well. All of that. I trust Okello. Then, of course, your front three. Ifun Inyachi Achara, Alejandro Pozuelo, and Josie Altador. Jefferson Soteldo is out. He's hurt, and he doesn't want to play for TFC. He's gone. He doesn't want to be there, so let's just go with it. Achara, Pozuelo, Altador, Schaffelberg. I think he's on the bench. I don't think he starts. He didn't get called up for Canada anyway. I don't know how healthy he is. He wasn't in the DC 18, so on the bench. So on your substitutes, Schaffelberg. Jordan Peruzza, Patrick Mullins, Jaquiel Marshall-Ruddy, and Jaden Nelson. I think that's who you'll see as substitutions. If there needs to be, I hope it's only like three of them. Honestly, I really don't want to see Patrick Mullins at all. And I really don't want to see Jaden Nelson. I want to see Jaquiel. I want to see Peruzza. I want to see Schaffelberg. But other than that, there's not really anybody I'd want to see coming off the bench. I guess Mark Delgado, if there has to be. But Zavaleta and... Kamar won't be on the bench. Then you have Omar. I don't want to see that. But Schaffelberg, Perusa, and Marshall Ruddy, I would love to see the other two. We could go without. Honestly, just make three subs. With that being said, those are my predicted 11s. So my prediction for this game, I think Toronto FC wins. They win 2-1. to one. It's going to be a very close game. It's going to be a tight game. But with Montreal's fans, the Ultras not wanting to be there, the Montreal players having to get back up for one more game that they haven't been focusing on until they got eliminated from the playoffs. And Toronto's been focusing on this for three, two, three months. I know Gareth Wheeler already said this, but I agree with him. Just in case you were like, Gareth Wheeler already said what he's saying. But I totally agree, so I'm attributing him. Toronto's been focusing on this for three months. They knew they had to get up for this. And sadly, it was on a day that the playoffs are being played. But they wanted to play this deep into November anyway. This is the way to do it. This is their cup final. This is their MLS cup final. Crazily enough. They get one day into late November. Make it right. They want the Champions League. They want this trophy. They want it more. And I know they're not great this year. But here's the thing about TFC. I don't care if they don't look so great this year. They've looked better over the past couple of months since they've been focusing on this trophy. They want this trophy. They want the Champions League spot. They want to set off the rebuild on the right foot or the reload on the right foot before they get Bradley in, even though they already will, even if they lose. But they want to set it on the right foot. 
With that being said, I think Toronto wins 2-1 to one regular time after 90. They figure out a way. I think they lead 2-0, and there's a late goal that makes it pretty nervy for the last 5 to 10 minutes, but they do it. They hold on. They wrap it in red and onyx, the Voyager's Cup, of course, and they win and go on to the Champions League. They care more. They've been looking for this more. They want this more than Montreal. It's a 4-1 derby. It's going to be very physical, but I think Toronto figures it out. The last two matches they've played against Montreal this year have been in favor of Toronto. Whether it was the home 401 Derby or even the 401 Derby in Montreal, they were still the better team, even though they got beat pretty handily and they were down a man. Helps they were down a man. I think they played better overall in Montreal and they played better in Toronto a couple of months ago. Or over a month ago? It's been a while, honestly. These international breaks are screwing me up in the head. But with that being said, Toronto FC, I think they win. I think Toronto FC wins 2-1. to one. That's my prediction. They want this more. They're going to get it. So with that, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. Check out my Patreon, $5, $10, or $20 a month. Anything's appreciated. Help support the channel. Be awesome if you do. Also support by liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, hitting that big red bell notification, super chats in the live streams, liking, putting this in playlists, sharing this with your friends and family, all that great stuff. Tomorrow, I have my MLS Cup playoff predictions video, predicting the whole thing from first round to final, all that. I hope you enjoy that. It's going to be a great video. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. This match is going to be a good one on Sunday, but we still got a couple of things to get to before we get to that. Peace. See you soon.